standing in a sweet potato field in Somerton, South Carolina, and I'm talking to Austin Lewis, who works for Oak Three and Flowers Farms, and y'all are a diversified operation up here. Um, what made y'all decide to add, to add sweet potatoes to the crop line? Yes, ma'am, we, we grow greens, uh, turnips, collards, mustards, uh, greens for the for the McCall Farms, and they, they gave, it gave us an opportunity to grow sweet potatoes for them. Okay. Um, most people think about growing crops from seed, mm -hmm. but that's not the truth with sweet potatoes. How do you even get them started? No ma'am, it's, uh, it's a neat process. They, uh, we grow slips, and, and I call a slip, it's all it is is a, a small plant. Um, it's one stem, and uh, pretty much they just, you stick them in the ground in other words, and, and they grow roots, send out roots and tubers, and that's what the sweet potato is. Well, do you actually walk through the field and put them in the ground by hand, or how do you get them in the ground? Yes, ma'am, it's a uh, transplanter, almost identical to a, a tobacco planter, um, and they have, they have little uh, notches in them that grab the plant, and, and a drive wheel that drives the, uh, the, the notch, and, and every notch that comes by, you lay a sweet potato plant in it, and it, and it sticks it in the ground, and, Close the wheels, cover it back up. So a person is there lifting up that little transplant and putting it down yes, into the place that's been created that's by the transplanter, and then the transplanter comes by and, and taps sticks it, it in, in the ground. and yes. waters it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, if we were growing these for the fresh market, what would be would we be looking for? We call them the size one to two, um, one that you would you'd get you know at a restaurant, any any place like that, but. We are growing for you know a cannery, so we want them bit as you know as big as we can get them. You still want to have as fine a product as you possibly can, and to get quality, I understand there are a lot of things in the soil that love to eat sweet potato yes, tubers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, do you make some preparations and cultural decisions during the year to keep the insect pressures down? Yes, ma'am. We put out a pre-emergent insecticide before bedding, um, and then we we bed, and that insecticide is in the ground after we bed and then uh, during cultivation we uh, we put another insecticide out also with that. So you don't actually have to come in and spray these are things that are directed to the soil because yes, that's where the insect that's pressure correct. is. That's okay. correct. Okay. Yeah. So many people have irrigation systems now is sweet potato a crop that will grow pretty good if you get normal rainfall or do you have to have irrigation for it? Not necessarily irrigation is good and it, you can you know increase your tonnage but uh, they don't need water like corn does. Well, that's a blessing. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> In absolutely. South Carolina, we're that's, not sure when it's going to rain. Yes, yeah. ma'am. So really, um, once they start doing well, they can kind of just sit here and grow on their own. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. And we'll we'll watch them periodically and and pull some plants and make sure you know none of uh, soil born in insects are, are you know munching on them or anything like bothering them. Now the tricky part then is getting them out of the field and I imagine there's a special machine that's designed for that. Explain to me how it works. Yes ma'am, it is a, uh, a four row digger. It's got a blade in the front of it and uh, at every bed the blade is beveled and that's what picks the sweet potatoes up out of the bed. It goes through a primary chain and shakes the dirt out. It goes to a secondary chain, shakes some more dirt out and then a vine chain takes all the vines and throws them out the back and a big fan blows the rest of the uh, debris and, and uh, residue out the back and the potatoes drop on a conveyor and go in the cart. Okay, now if we were gonna be using these for the fresh market, they would need to cure. Is that part of what you have to do before they go down to the cannery? No ma'am, the, uh, the fresh market potatoes do need to cure, it depending on, on your likeness. Um, we, uh, we, we don't have to let them cure. We, uh, we you know, dump them straight on a trailer and they go to the uh, processing plant. Okay. Well, I've enjoyed learning about sweet potato production and what it can do for the farmers um, because you said it used to be that y'all were growing wheat instead of sweet potatoes. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. And I imagine y'all have some other crops that y'all are growing as well. What, are, what, what is kind of the overlay of y'all's whole production? Yes, ma'am. We, uh, we grow the sweet potatoes. Along with the sweet potatoes, we grow turnip greens, mustard greens, collard greens, corn, soybeans, and we've opted out of the wheat. Okay, and um, the commodity market is not a very strong market right now, so this is a better option for y'all since the wheat price is so low. That's correct, All yes right. ma'am. Well, we love the fact that um, business and farmers are working together to make sure that these family farms can stay productive in South Carolina, and thank you for taking the time to explain your part in that chain today. Yes ma'am, thank you.